In other news tonight, the Charleston County Legislative Delegation is working to make a well-traveled highway in downtown Charleston safer. News 2's Jordan Sayopa joins us live from the Crosstown. And Jordan, tell us more about that meeting that happened today. Well, Carolyn, state and local leaders are in the early phases of coming up with safety improvements for pedestrians here at the Crosstown. Now, the South Carolina Department of Transportation provided an update on the work that's already been done and what will happen next. The Septima Clark Parkway in downtown Charleston, also known as the Crosstown, could soon undergo changes to keep pedestrians safe. Recent accidents just highlight that something has to be done. A Charleston County Legislative Delegation Roads and Bridges Committee meeting was held Tuesday afternoon to address the issue. Data from the South Carolina Department of Public Safety shows there have been two fatal pedestrian crashes in the Crosstown area this year. We're still having complaints. We're still having fatalities. People are still losing their lives. During the meeting, Brent Dillon with the South Carolina Department of Transportation gave an update on the U.S. 17 Septima Clark Parkway Road Safety Assessment. That's the first step in implementing improvements for the area. A study was conducted based on a field assessment in early 2023. He says stakeholders met last week to give their comments. And the step we're in right now is the consulting team is taking all those comments from last week's meeting and really preparing a final report. Dylan says based on the study so far, they expect most of the work to be signing and marking related, as well as traffic signal improvements. He estimates the cost will be about $2.5 to $3 million, local leaders committing to making a change. You know, we've got to get all levels of government involved here at city, county, and state, and we've got to tackle this issue because um, it's just really not safe for pedestrians right now. Now, DOT says it's too soon to say exactly what the schedule for this project will look like, and they say there will be a public information meeting on this in early 2024. Reporting live in Charleston, I'm Jordan Sayopa. Count on two.